So now that we've managed to beat the secret boss in one shot, and spent hundreds of thousands of emeralds collecting basically every item imaginable, I want to see just exactly how high our damage can be in a single hit. While I'm pretty sure these spiders bindings have the highest damage per second, that doesn't exactly translate into a single big hit that shows millions of damage. And I'm not really sure yet what weapon is going to have the highest damage, it might actually be a bow for all I know, but I've got a few I'm going to try. And it all starts with a 108 weapon this guy's going to drop for me. Never mind. I think the first weapon I want to test out is the Master's Katana because it has increased critical hit chance. I just need this in a higher level with the proper enchantments. And no, I'm not going to be grinding these weapons out manually because I would never ever find them all. The highest level weapon I have currently is a 108 Firebrand. 108 is the max, but it is just on an axe. It's not going to do a huge single hit. Ten seconds later. And just like that, magically, we have a level 108 Master's Katana with sharpness, echo and critical hit because I think that's going to give me the highest chance to do a big hit. I'm still a little unsure on sharpness but we're going to give this a try. The beauty of doing it this way is I can try any combination I want it's that easy. I don't need to grind out the weapons I can mess with any combination to get the answers we're looking for. So once I put on the enchantments without wearing any armor or anything I'm hitting for pretty decent damage and it is interesting because you can do a two times critical hit. So if I manage to do an echo on my final hit on my combo with critical hits it's actually really big damage. It was 11,500 from that one and it was a single critical hit. I already like the potential on this given that we're doing 11,500 damage without any armor on or any damage boost at all. Normally I'll use the renegade armor because 25% attack speed, 20% weapon damage plus cowardice. But we're not going for attack speed, we're going for maximum damage in a single hit. Which is where this incredible mystery armor comes in because 20% weapon damage boost and 30% weapon damage boost. 50% total, all we need to do is find cowardice right here. Not entirely sure what I did, but I boned the game up pretty badly because I've got negative 5 million or so enchantment points. Plus an armor with a missing thing entirely, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen now. Alright, so as long as we don't put the mystery armor back on, the game seems to behave just fine again. So we're probably going to have to scrap that and find a new one. So for now, we're just going to wear the renegade armor and go find one. That shouldn't take long at all. Plus, I kind of wanted to see how this katana does against regular enemies without any extras on it. It's definitely pretty good so far. It's not as quick as the gauntlets, but it does a lot of damage. Definitely has a glass cannon type vibe to it, given that there's no radiance, so I take a lot of damage. So while it hits harder, uh, there's even hits for 50,000 already. I'm going to switch back to my gauntlets for now. There we go. Mystery armor. Only level 100, but I can work with this. And there we go, without getting too fancy, 20% plus 30% damage plus cowardice, which will level up here, so we'll get so much damage out of this, it's gonna hurt. So now when we hit the dummy, we're doing considerably more damage, there's a crit for 1921. Alright, what about if we do it with everything involved? We go like that, we pick up a strength potion, and then hit the dummy, 88,000 plus 27,000. I'm honestly really disappointed by that result. I thought there'd be a lot more damage in that. But that also might not have been a critical hit. It might have just been a strength potion making the text red. So let's try this again. So let's try this again. We'll swing our sword twice to get our big hit charged up. And we'll do all those. And 265 plus 80. That was a critical hit. So that was about 340,000 damage. At most it could have been about 520. So let's see what the boss thinks of this. And just the regular cows even. It's still quicker to use my gauntlets, but this definitely hits way harder, but it's way overkill. Alright, this should be pretty interesting. Not really sure how this is going to go, but we're going to give it a try. So we'll do our two swings, Shadow Potion, the boss is going to spawn. I've mistimed this already, I can tell. You know what, that's alright. As we'll just hit him with a few big hits. I didn't really see what those are for, but yeah, this is going to gouge his health down real fast. We can still do better. And since I can't think of any way to get any more damage out of this, let's try a weapon with higher damage, because this one peaks at 2881. Say instead it was a claymore, a level 108 claymore with the same enchantments that now does 3687 damage. This should hit quite a bit harder. Its big hit goes for 8717. So if it's a critical hit that'll be about 25,000 damage. It's not quick but it does hit hard. And it's got a decent range on it too, I can hit that dummy. Alright, it's dummy time. Two, pick up this, pick up this, and kablamo, 114 plus 37. So if that was a critical hit, it would have done about 330. If it was a dual critical hit, it would have done 660,000 technically on one attack. It's just too bad it wasn't always this quick. You would do so much damage per second. Probably actually, yeah, higher than my gauntlets, but it requires a strength potion to do it. So let's see about giving ourselves just one of those. 
It's definitely still a little bit crazy to me that the fighter's bindings, even at only 105 with kind of middle of the road enchantments, I would still take those over this, even though this would be incredibly hard to find and create. This is fun in the fact that it hits so hard and you see such big numbers, but it's definitely not super survivable. Let's see how the boss is going to compare to this sword. I kind of screwed that up, but you know what? That's fine. I'm honestly kind of disappointed from these results. I thought having weapons like this would be huge damage. Big single hits that might almost kill in one hit. The bows can do it. The swords, maybe not so much. I guess that just means we'll have to build some kind of ridiculous bow. The downside to bows is they can't use shadow potions for that extra bit of damage, but the plus side is they could have multi-shot and multiple multi-shots and all sorts of crazy things. And I think the heart bow is going to have the highest potential because it can fire 5 arrows at a time, but if it has multi-shot, that could be 25 arrows at a time. So something like this is probably going to do a lot of damage. Because it's a 108 harp crossbow, even more projectiles, it has multi-shot, it has power, it has growing. I wasn't sure about this third enchantment, but given that can do up to 75% extra damage to all these arrows, I think that's going to be a winner. Not getting any luck out of the shop so far, but then I realized I have a 108 artifact in my inventory already. Which quite easily becomes a 108 fireworks arrow that adds 4608 range damage to every one of those arrows I can fire. Though so obviously the damage gets really big really fast now. Alright, the last thing I need to do is change my armor to get an extra 30% damage. So we're swapping this armor out for this one. It's basically the same thing, just with ranged damage instead. And it's a little bit hard to see, but that does give us an extra 30% damage. So combine that with fireworks, arrow, strength potion, gong of weakening, and we're gonna hit for something really big. I don't know what it is, but it's a lot. Even just the regular arrows are more than enough to mow down fields of cows and probably most enemies, except for maybe some of the enchanted ones. If we're super lucky, we'll get a clear damage readout on this guy, but it doesn't happen very often. And hit him. Well, we took most of his health, but that's one we're familiar with by now, isn't it? But I also kind of want to see what's the most damage we can get out of a single arrow. And I think the best way to do that is going to be with the Guardian Bow. Level 108, so it is 4148 max damage, strong charge attacks, supercharged arrows, with supercharge on top of that, power, and growing. The trick with this is going to be far enough away to get maximum damage, but still close enough to see how much it's actually doing. That was for 22,000 and something. We hit it from there, 24,000. I'm not actually sure there's any other item in the game that can hit for this hard for just a basic attack. It's definitely up there, I would have to really look into it, but it hits for a lot of damage. So if we add a few things, how much can we hit for? Even from this close, 385,000. So yeah, that's definitely up there. It's just too bad we can't add multi-shot on top of this. Well, I guess we can. I just think it'll probably break the game to do so. Let's try from just a little further back if we can. Like way back to here. That's probably not much further than last time, but we could definitely get 400,000 damage out of this easy with a single arrow. Given that I know where this idiot spawns, I think I could probably hit him pretty hard from pretty far back. I don't know how far I have to be to hit him for maximum damage, but we could walk like way back. I don't know here. We won't really get to see the damage readout, but... We'll see how much it did for a single arrow. It took over two thirds of his health, which is definitely pretty amusing to me. Whoops. But I think that kind of also confirms that you're not going to be able to kill him with a single arrow under any circumstances, unless there's something I'm not thinking of, but it would be very hard even to replicate this. Even if these cows are pretty slow, I could probably actually walk one into one of my arrows and we could see the readout. As long as I'm kind of careful about how I do this. Oh, it's not really going to work. Well, you know, 369,000, that's a lot still. Pretty interesting results so far. I thought I'd be able to hit things for more given that I can create basically anything I want at this point, but I still seem to be capped in the low hundreds of thousands. Unless I put on this disaster of an armor. Ta -da! Since the results have kind of been mediocre so far, I'm going to do something stupid and try and build a bow that has like three times multi-shot just to see what'll happen. And that should do it. I'm not entirely sure if this multi-shot is working or not, or if any of them are, frankly. Uh, this might break the game, but uh, we'll see what happens. And that's working pretty good. Look at all the multi-shots at once. I thought for sure this was just going to break the game, but this is actually just going to be a lot of fun. And I just know the cows are going to love all these arrows. If I could add piercing to this too, and growing, I don't know how carried away I can get with this considering I already thought this was going to break the game, but this is definitely nice and powerful. Even now, I think only two of my multi-shots are working because when I fire, it tends to do six a lot. That makes me think it's only two times three. And we just can't settle for results like that. We can do better. We're going to turn this one into triple multi-shot. And for those of you wondering out there, I really don't think you can find this legitimately in-game. I've never seen more than one multi-shot enchantment on a bow before. I'm pretty sure it's just not possible. But when you're willing to cheat like me and potentially break the game, anything's possible.
So now we should be getting stupid amounts of arrows. No, we're not really seeing any more than before, but you know what? I'll take it. That's still a lot of arrows. Let's change it up a little bit. Cows are getting boring. So regular enemies are probably going to die pretty frequently to all these. Kind of a shame I can't get more enchantments out of this. Well, again, I probably can. I just don't want to break the game too bad yet. Oh good, I hit level 200. That's important. Today's experiments really lead me to think the bows actually are better for damage overall. But again, these are with weapons you're probably not ever really going to find in the game anyway. You have to be extraordinarily lucky. A golem? Do I even need to do anything upgraded? Well, you know what, whatever. For what it's worth, we'll just do that anyway, because it's fun. Another golem plus an army of idiots. Uh, we should be able to deal with this fairly easily. A couple arrows, and we're good. This might be the easiest fight yet. As soon as he lands, he's getting like 45 arrows to the face. All right, and there we are, three hits. But then we gotta fight the second form who's gonna be stronger, but you know what? If I hit him with the Gong of Weakening, I think this will be pretty straightforward. One hit, 